Well, the Thermovision program is a very proactive preventive maintenance program. You know, it helps protect our assets. Uh, it's system security to keep the electricity flowing, obviously, which is our revenue. Uh, public safety, because I find a lot of sleeves on the wire are usually over schoolyards and parks in the city, so that's a big scene. You don't want those failing. If I were to find a sleeve with the infrared patrol, to go out and fix it, they can fix that thing at 25% of the cost on a planned outage versus an unplanned outage. Because generally the unplanned outage is you have to initiate the helicopter, you got to find the material, you got to get the men out there, you got to do the plan. It's longer to do it because of the unplanned part of it. You have to first find it. Uh, the havoc it creates to the system, if it bumps one line, they have to have a contingency plan to run the power around to another one. That doesn't include the lost revenue cost to the uh, generators, OPG. That's just our cost, okay? If you lose one of the circuits, unplanned, on the Bruce Milton line back in the late 90s, it was $400,000 an hour lost revenue to OPG. So you're gonna have that thing down for a day or two. That's quite a bit of money going out, uh, out the door. So if you can find it planned and we can get our crews in, the line crews to do a bare hand method or otherwise, nothing stops, it keeps on flowing. Anything on the transmission structures that are electrically connected, will give a thermal uh, signature if there's a weakness or anomaly associated with it. So that could be anywhere from conductor to insulators to skywire. So, uh, so conductor sleeves, they're very serious, obviously, because if they let go, the wires come down to the ground. Insulators, if they're tracking, they will leak over and, and short to the tower and, and bump the line out, which causes uh, uh, the OGCC to respond to that effect, and we have to go patrol it. Skywire connections, usually if they're not bonded properly, can actually burn off, and when the skywire comes down, it'll hit the line and either bump it out or wrap itself around it and cause a permanent fault. So these are the type of things that we look for. Anything with electrically associated that's got an anomaly in it, the, cam the infrared camera will pick it up. And this side is a Sony digital uh, video camera. Over here is a Canon 10 megapixel digital camera. Okay, that's digital video. And this is the FLIR 570 infrared camera down here. It's all controlled from inside from a joystick and I have a switch that runs all three cameras independently or together, whatever the, the, the request is at the day. You can run the video and snap digital photos at the same time. You can run the FLIR camera and snap digital photos at the same time. It's all there to help us make our reports. It's all being tracked. Like I said, every one second there's a GPS hit that comes out of this machine. So wherever we are, at the end of the day, it just produces a crumb trail of where we were and it helps us. I overlay that onto the TLGIS uh, ESRI maps and, uh, and it's all, there's no more writing stuff down on paper. The reason we bought this uh, unit was because it was custom built for our FLIR camera inside. The FLIR camera, I can take these panels off and I remove the camera so when we get into no-fly zones like the city of Toronto, Windsor, Sarnia, Ottawa, wherever, I take the camera out and I drive from the truck and look from the ground up at the structures and then wherever else we fly I put it inside and it, it is cased in here. So again it was custom built around our camera because the infrared cameras are very expensive. We have uh, 30,000 kilometers of transmission lines in Ontario and when we head out, we kind of, uh, what I do is I plan looking for the heavily loaded circuits. We have a five-year uh, uh, plan for the, for the circuits uh, that we check in Ontario with the transmission system. Every year we monitor between 12,500 to just over 13,000 kilometers a year. Out of those, 6,000 kilometers a year are done mandatorily. All our inner ties are done once a year. All of Bruce 500 mil lines are done once a year and then the rest of them are done in a two, three, four, and five year cycle. And uh, we just spend the year starting in January once training's over and we go right through till uh, the spring. And uh, the winter time up north, predominantly it's more load for the, for the heating of the homes. And in Southern Ontario, that would be in the summer till the, till the fall with the air conditioning load. And we focus a lot of our efforts down here. And we just, I make the reports, send them out to the local supervisors with an A, B, or C rating, depending on the parameters involved and they make, uh, they make repairs to them.